Uh, joining us right now is the Wall Street Journal's global economics editor, John Hilsenrath. John, good morning to you. Good morning. Great to what be here. What struck, as far as the debates last night or the headlines coming out of Osaka, what's striking you this morning? Well, I, I'm really focused on the talks coming up between President Trump and President Xi of China. Obviously, there's a lot at stake. I, you know, I think it's clear at this point that that the idea of a big breakthrough through a deal happening right now is pretty low. It's striking to me that going into the meeting, the Chinese are basically raising their demands by putting Huawei on the table and saying that, you know, we have to remove our export bans on Huawei for them to do a deal. So they're basically increasing their demands going into this conversation. I think the best uh, that we can expect for the two sides is to agree to start talking again. They've st they stopped talking in April when the U.S. felt that the Chinese uh, balked at what they had agreed on. So maybe they start talking again. Maybe they set a deadline to reach a deal for later in the year. Yeah, I mean, the president, when, when he joined me earlier this week, was not backing down at all. And when I said to him, look, do you have a plan B uh, if plan A doesn't work out in terms of a deal with China? He said, yeah, plan B is plan A, and that is tariffs. And he right. said, and by the way, it doesn't have to be 25 percent. He threw in, let's do 10 percent. So he's right. already thinking about how he's going to approach this this $325 billion in remaining goods coming in from China and, and saying, look, I have no problem with 10 percent. You know, I think it's very clear at this point that this president likes tariffs. Uh, you know, he thinks it hits back at America's trade competitors. And uh, he sees it as, as a source of revenue for the U.S. government. He says all the time, this is bringing in tens of billions, hundreds of billions of dollars uh, in, into the U.S. Treasury. So, you know, I, I think that his point of view is that his fallback plan is something that he likes, which is increasing tariffs. Yeah, and I know you don't love this, uh, Dagan, but, you know, bottom line is the president of China comes in last night with all of these demands. Lift the ban on Huawei. Take away all these punitive tariffs. I, I, I didn't think that was going to go well with President Trump. But they're using his negotiating tactics. You take the hardest position possible. And I said this yesterday. This seems like that China is saying to the U.S., we're, this is square one. We're starting all over again. But, John, to your point, the president loves to brag about the money coming into the U.S. Treasury. And let's say what this is. It's a consumption tax or a value-added tax that falls on American companies or importers here and on consumers and after watching that debate last night that's something that you'd expect out of the mouth, a mouth of a Democrat you know it's it's interesting watching these debates and listening to this parent talk about uh, to, to this president talking about trade there isn't really a totally free market uh, candidate in this 2020 election you know at least when you when you're looking at trade, this you know this president is not a free market guy. Uh, you know he would disagree with you on the question of of who gets taxed when tariffs are imposed. He would say the tariffs are are all hitting the Chinese. There's a lot of disagreement about that among economists. I mean, I think what happens really is when we put tariffs on, it feeds through across the supply chain. So some of yeah. it might hit Chinese uh, Chinese producers. But some of it also does feed into U.S. consumers. Yeah, but I, I, I got to push back on that to say that the president is not a free market guy. Yes, tariffs are no tariffs. So he, he has been showing real free market policies, uh, and he wants to see uh, competition as well as, uh, as well as lower taxes you know, m move through this economy. So, yes, you're right. He likes tariffs. But to say he's not a free market, I, I got to push back well, on, I mean, on, on, on trade, I don't think, I don't, uh, on trade, I don't see how you could argue that just because you know, we, we have taken a very aggressive stance yeah. on putting up barriers to trade. And, and the president and to the, you, the and he's, he's part very, of the economy is, you he's know. anxious to go after Europe next. He said Europe's yeah. worse than China. Well, so let's I, talk about why. I mean, I, I think we're missing the point. Why does he use tariffs? Because it's the only tool he has to stop the unfair trading practices. Well, that's not I don't think necessarily he likes true. Tariffs. That, we could argue for days and weeks and months and years about that. I think he's a free trader. I think he just believes that America has been getting the short end of the stick, and he's now going to use the stick against the people who have cheated us and robbed us and made it hard for us. And they've done nothing in terms of environmental concerns, but we're having to pay but here's those the prices. Rough. With China, he I don't think to get he had another. Uh, he had another tool. 
I mean, he, he could have no, done something to ZTE and to and, and, and to maybe Huawei No, sooner. but you raised this issue with him. You could have stayed in the TPP. Yeah. You could have locked arms with all of your other he said allies. He would have been a disaster, he said. Yeah, but there are even people who are Republicans, even in his administration, right. will privately tell you that it wouldn't have been a disaster and it would have helped us take on China with the rest of Asia. Yeah. That was what it was designed to do, is take the power away from China. But, John, yeah. the, the president, need, if he wants to get reelected next year, he's counting on a strong economy. Economy. And yeah. right now, the, you know, based on a lot of measures, it is still incredibly healthy. But he seems right. to be counting on the Federal Reserve to, like, step into the fray and and help the economy out with mm. monetary stimulus yeah. as he fights these trade so, battles. So is the market. You know so is the market. We're yeah. expecting, you're expecting a, a cut in July, right?